tales for dark nights. The following performance is a first round entry in the 2017 Evil Idol voice acting competition. Voting is simple. Following the performance, simply click the thumbs up icon on this video if you'd like them to become a member of the team, or the thumbs down if you'd rather they not. Voting on this entry will conclude one week after the date of its posting. Good luck to all of our contestants. For more than two years, I fought off the reflections with partial success, and I buried myself in routine as deeply as possible. In the winter, however, the dreams began. They were very sparse and insidious at first, but increased in frequency and vividness as the weeks went by. Great, watery spaces opened out before me, and I seemed to wander through titanic sunken porticos and labyrinths of weedy cyclopean walls. Then the other shapes began to appear, filling me with nameless horror the moment I awoke, but during the dreams they did not horrify me at all. I was one with them, wearing their unhuman trappings and praying monstrously at their evil sea-bottom temples. There was much more than I could remember, but even what I did remember each morning would be enough to stamp me as a madman. Or a genius, if ever I dared write it down. Some frightful influence, I felt, was seeking gradually to drag me out of the sane world of wholesome life into unnameable abysses of blackness and alienage, and the process told heavily on me. My health and appearance grew steadily worse, till finally I was forced to give up my position and adopt the static, secluded life of an invalid. Some odd, nervous affliction had me in its grip, and I found myself at times almost unable to shut my eyes. It was then that I began to study the mirror with mounting alarm. The slow ravages of disease are not pleasant to watch, but in my case there was something subtler and more puzzling in the background. What was taking place in me? One night I had a frightful dream in which I met my grandmother under the sea. She lived in a phosphorescent palace and welcomed me with a warmth. She had changed, as those who take to the water change, and told me she had never died. Instead, she had gone to a spot her dead son had learned about, and had leaped to a realm whose wonders he had spurned with a smoking pistol. This was to be my realm, too. I could not escape it. I would never die but would live with those who had lived since before man ever walked the earth. The Deep Ones could never be destroyed. For the present, they would rest, but someday they would rise again for the tribute Great Lulu craved. It would be a city greater than Innsmouth next time. This was the dream in which I saw a Shelgoth for the first time and the sight set me awake in a frenzy of screaming. That morning, the mirror definitely told me I had acquired the Innsmouth look. So far, I have not shot myself. I bought an automatic and almost took the step, but certain dreams deterred me. The tense extremes of horror are lessening, and I feel queerly drawn toward the unknown sea deeps instead of fearing them. I hear and do strange things in sleep, and awake with a kind of exaltation instead of terror. I do not believe I need to wait for the full change as most have waited. If I did, my father would probably shut me up in a sanitarium as my poor little cousin is shut up. Stupendous and unheard of splendors await me below, and I shall seek them soon. Le -le 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 
Cthulhu vertragen. Le, le, no, no, no. I shall not shoot myself. I cannot be made to shoot myself. I shall plan my cousin's escape from that Canton madhouse, and together we shall go to Marvel Shadowed Innsmouth, we shall swim out to that brooding reef in the sea and dive down through black abysses to Cyclopean and many-columned Ihanthlie, and in that lair of the Deep Ones we shall dwell amidst wonder and glory forever. Thank you for listening. If you haven't already, don't forget to cast your vote for this contestant via either a thumbs up or thumbs down vote. New entries will be posted throughout July. Be sure to tune in and vote for each of them and help decide who becomes the next evil idol. In the meantime, turn off the lights and turn on the dark. Chilling Tales for Dark Nights.